Greetings, beloved ones. My name is Ayesh. I am an indigo Octarian. As part of our mission to help the Earth cross into the fifth dimension, I have come to speak to you today about the science of communication. Communication is the art of conveying information through a variety of methodologies. Communication requires four things, a center or source of information, a medium to transmit the information, and a receiver or destination for the information. The type of medium being used to transmit information determines the communication type. Verbal communication utilizes sound waves traveling through physical mediums such as solid, liquid, or air. Written communication utilizes a set of symbols transferred on solid physical mediums. Additionally, there are coded light languages which utilize electromagnetic radiation as the communication medium. Linguistics is the scientific study of language systems of communication. Human linguistic sciences are primarily concerned with written and verbal forms of human communication, but, it is important for human beings to comprehend that since there are a multitude of communication forms, then linguistic sciences should not just be limited to the study of written or verbal forms of communication. Communication requires that the communicating parties share an area of communicative commonality and comprehension. Seeing the Arctics is part of the study of communicative commonality, it is the study of meaning making, the science of decoding and comprehending information. Seeing the Arctics is the philosophical theory of signs and symbols, including the study of sign processes, indication, designation, likeness, analogy, metaphor, symbolism, and signification. Seeing the Arctics is closely related to the field of linguistics, and serves as the bridge from the mundane human linguistic study of written and oral forms of communication, into the vast universal linguistic study of communication in all forms of mediums. In one word, the scientific study of non-human languages is called xenolinguistics. Xenolinguistics not only encompasses alien or extraterrestrial languages not found on Earth, but xenolinguistics also studies methods of communication that occur on Earth which humans do not comprehend. For example, the ultrasonic language utilized by dolphins on planet Earth to communicate with one another, or the way animals communicate with each other without speaking, are examples of forms of communication studied in terrestrial xenolinguistics. The study of extraterrestrial xenolinguistic communication forms brings you into the realm of the universal language of creation. Xenolinguistic studies aid in empowering your bilingual and multilingual brain, making you better at reasoning, multitasking, and problem solving. In a polyglot world, xenolinguistics is the cure to the illiteracy of the 21st century which is monolingualism. The universal xenolinguistic language has been known by a variety of different names including Enochian, the language of the angels, magic sigils, and cymatics. However, we choose to use the term, astrolinguistics to refer to the xenolinguistic universal language of creation. Astrolinguistics is the language of the star people. The word, astrolinguistics, means the language, or sounds, or vibrations of the stars. Astrolinguistics is a living language, and is conveyed through writing, speaking, transmitting through sound waves, and transmitting through light codes. It is the transmission and receipt of language through electromagnetic light codes in the infrared and ultraviolet frequencies, which is the functional mechanism behind telepathic communication. Astrolinguistics is the oldest language in the universe, and the root of all languages. Astrolinguistics was born at the time of the Big Bang, the point of time when the first information was created, it was recorded in the astrolinguistic language. Learning astrolinguistics will help star seeds reconnect with your celestial heritage. Transmitting astrolinguistics through physical solid mediums is called hierographics, meaning sacred writing. Transmitting astrolinguistics through physical liquid or gas mediums is called hierophonics, meaning sacred tones and vibration, and transmitting astrolinguistics through energetic mediums is called hierophotonics, meaning sacred light. Pulsars and quasars are stars which communicate through radio waves of electromagnetic radiation and light. The fact that light languages communicated in electromagnetic radiation mediums are utilized by extraterrestrial civilizations is known to your Earth scientists. This is why SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, is primarily using scientific methods to monitor signals of electromagnetic radiation for signs of transmissions from civilizations of other worlds. When extraterrestrial beings attempt to communicate with you through crop circles, they are using the astrolinguistic language. In tone, the astrolinguistic language is emitted through the nine frequencies of 174 Hz, 285 Hz, 396 Hz, 
417 hertz, 528 hertz, 639 hertz, 741 hertz, 852 hertz, and 963 hertz. These nine frequencies can then be expressed at different octaves. Using three octaves will give a total of 27 characters in the language, and using additional octaves will render additional linguistic characters. When expressing the astrolinguistic language verbally, it sounds like a beautiful song. On Earth, this has become known as solfege. The astrolinguistic frequencies can be converted into electromagnetic waves to express the language in color and light. You must understand that, when you reduce the experience of information, to a word or letter, it actually results in the loss of information. However, since the astrolinguistic language is transmitted in all mediums, it preserves the informational experience at every level. Human beings have ignored learning astrolinguistics because of the challenges of emitting the correct sounds, tones, and light frequencies, and adopting the astrolinguistic language to fit into your earthly culture. But, it is now time to rise to the challenge. In order to know the mind of the star people, you must have a working knowledge of their language. As star seeds and children of the stars, you must learn astrolinguistics to communicate with your celestial family. Let your ancestors speak. Peace to you all beloved ones. Yours truly in divine love and ascension. Ayesh. <laughs>